With increasing age and technology making things smaller practically every day, I'm finding myself having to use a microscope uh, more often. This is the arrangement that I've been using to date. It's worked reasonably well, but it's, it's restricted. You need a smartphone or a laptop to connect to the camera to capture the images. It makes it not exactly portable. Sometimes the OTG cable can be a bit, a bit flaky. However, I do like this, this app. I'll leave a, a link in the description as it doesn't have annoying adverts at the top or the bottom. So uh, I'll, I'll do that. And I've used this arrangement to repair everything from uh, Bluetooth speakers to uh, removing the BIOS flash chip from a, from a laptop and reflashing that. And uh, just here we can see this little receiver. Uh, I could do some, with some more light. This was a neat find. It's no more than a credit card uh, size, but it puts out an absolutely insane amount of light. Oh, one other thing to note, sometimes people don't realise that there's a lens cap on these guys and you need really to take that off to get the, the best image. So having said all that, I want to compare this against a different uh, microscope. We'll go through the, the, the benefits of, of that. So in comparison to my original little microscope, I've purchased this newer type. It comes with a, a stand. Also comes with um, intestines apparently, so that's going to be interesting. And cleaning cloth, instructions, uh, a base. So let's get it put together. The uh, ubiquitous USB cable for, for charging and connecting to a computer, I guess. Clearly the integral screen was what I was uh, looking for. We got some LEDs in the in the base there for illumination. Pretty similar focus arrangement. I guess the uh, the level of, of light. A uh, little slot for a TF card, a micro SD, and our connection for charging. Now, although obviously it's meant to mount on these uh, on this stand, perhaps for lathe work or something, you could 3D print uh, your own adapter for whatever your needs uh, were. Clearly, here we have uh, up down arrangement for for focusing and a lock and a similar lock for the, uh, the little base support there. So one side of this is uh, is larger than the other and there's a, a ring on there that will fit into there. So we know which way around that's going to go. We can see there's a little bit of, of play in, in there but uh, it seems to be Certainly it's a lot more stable than, uh, than my other arrangement, so it can't be any worse. In the back here has a, a pre-installed 18650 size uh, cell, 2600 milliampere hours, so that should give a couple of hours of, uh, of use. You can also, of course, run it from, the, uh, from a USB 5 volt supply as well. We switch it on, shake our test device as before. Stop that moving, we just uh, put the lock in place there. So that looks like a, a reasonably neat, neat picture there. Certainly, at least to my eyes from here, uh, looks like an improvement on the, on the older version. Obviously we've got our in instructions and uh, operations guide. Uh, it looks like you need a microscope to even read the instructions. So that's quite handy. Also, if you didn't want to use this stand, obviously you could make something else. And if these uh, little slide clips get in your way, uh, there's no law against turning the thing around. Um, I always keep a couple of these old lead acid batteries. So now we've got uh, complete freedom under here to put whatever we like, and perhaps this might be uh, more useful when, when soldering than using the base there. We will no doubt find out. Now before we can record video or take photos, obviously we need to put uh, an SD card, TF card in the, in the little slot here. Now the icon here is a little bit misleading. Um, you would probably think by the, the picture there that it would go in that way, but in fact it doesn't. It goes in with the contacts uh, uppermost. So if you just pop that in there. Now, I saw somebody else reviewing this on the uh, internet and they made a huge deal uh, out of how difficult it was to get the, 
the card in and out. Um, personally, I can't see what the problem is. Maybe his unit had some plastic flash or something that, that was uh, was binding on there, but uh, it's pretty much the same as uh, any other TF card slot that you've seen. So now when we turn the unit on, and put our sample device under there and take a look. That looks nice and crisp there. So to take a picture, uh, it's just a brief press on the OK. And if we want to do a video, then it's a longer press on the OK. Now we can see the indicator light there and the, the time. And by default, it's in 1080 full HD. So just move that around a little. And we'll take a look at the results of this uh, on the computer when we get round to that part of the review. Just before we move on to looking at connecting this to the laptop, I should have mentioned before that you can review pictures and, and videos on the device itself. Once it's on, we just briefly press the on button again and we can see the library of all the things that we've taken. So we can move around and select a particular image and we can scroll through those images and in the in this instance it's a video so we can play the video on the device as well and of course it's possible to delete so if we go into the menu here we have the options you can also write protect uh, a particular image to uh, avoid uh, inadvertently deleting it. If we really want to delete it, we can delete all or just the current and confirm. One other thing I forgot to mention before we move on is that when you're in the, the normal viewing mode, there is a digital zoom available. So if we press the right hand button, we get one and a half times and two times uh, digital magnification there. And going back, uh, also on the left hand button, if you press that and there's no magnification, it inverts the image so we can see the text down there uh, the right way up. So let's now connect the microscope to the laptop and see what we can do with it. And we have two options, mass storage or PC camera. So if we select mass storage to start with, recognized by the laptop there, and we can see the directory structure on the SD card inside the microscope. So no great surprises there. If we uh, look at one of the images, there's uh, a goodly amount of detail there, I think. Uh, it's definitely an improvement over my previous microscope. And if we have a look at a, the video. Have we got a video? Yes, Neil, we've got a video. So I'm, I'm uh, quite impressed with that uh, quality of output. And we don't have to take the TF card, obviously, out of the microscope to view it. The other option that we had, I guess we'll have to eject this. So this time selecting the PC camera option. And in this mode, obviously, there's no display on the device itself. We have to launch the application that we've downloaded from the website. A degree of lag there. Personally I can't see much point in in using this interface. Gave much better results to record on the device itself and then just open it as, as mass storage. I know you've been dying to take a look at my intestines so let me just zoom in a little here. And also on the microscope if we can 
go to the two times magnification. Focusing that in, that's, uh, that's remarkably clear, I think. If I remember my schoolboy biology at all, um, what we're looking at here is a piece of the simple columnar epithelium, which is a small intestine. And uh, this would be the muscular wall of the intestine. And on the inside, these feathery, feathery like uh, things are the what's called the villi. Now they slow down the uh, the material that's passing through the intestine, and also increase the effective surface area so that it can absorb uh, all the uh, all the goodness. So there you have it. Um, links in the description as always, and uh, see you again soon.